Prime Minister Modi in uh, Brazil right now in the South American country after wrapping up a very productive visit to Nigeria. Remember, he's on a three-nation tour starting on the 16th of November till the 21st of November. He has held bilateral talks in Nigeria uh, with uh, President Ahmed uh, and interacted with the Indian community there. Alongside Prime Minister Modi now, he is, uh, is Chinese President Xi Jinping as well as US President Joe Biden who will be attending the big G20 summit in Rio de Janeiro today and tomorrow. That is 18th and 19th of November. This, and the third and the final leg of his trip uh, will be in Guyana, where Prime Minister Modi will be on the 19th till the 21st at the invitation of President Mohammed Irfan Ali. It will be the first ever visit of an Indian Prime Minister to Guyana in more than 50 years. Remember, Prime Minister Modi has been really trying to bridge the gap that has happened uh, between India and CARICOM nations. There's a very clear attempt to try and reach out to Caribbean countries. There's also a second summit of the India CARICOM nations that will take place in Guyana. And this follows a recent visit of the Jamaican Prime Minister to India as well. But right now, the focus is the G20 summit where Prime Minister Modi will be. There are also a couple of uh, pull asides that could happen. There's no clear uh, uh, communication that has come in as to whether or not or how many will be the bilaterals that Prime Minister Modi may have at the G20 in Rio de Janeiro. But the focus will be taking on from what was the declaration last year. And before we get in, Celia Mendoza, reporter joining us uh, from Rio de Janeiro, let me just tell our viewers that this year, the G20 summit in 2024 in Brazil, two key aspects are the focus. One is the energy transition for developing countries. And second, the focus on hunger and poverty, the index that uh, is likely to be launched, which is going to be a key focus and a hallmark of this summit under Brazil's presidency. All eyes will be on the Global South, which is pretty much at the center of all global discussions. Let's get in uh, Celia now to give us uh, a sense of how things are looking on ground um, and also a sense of what all is lined up uh, on day one of the G20 summit. That's right, we're here at the um, Modern Museum of Art in Rio de Janeiro. 26,000 members of police as well as uh, the military are protecting the leaders as they are arriving here to the summit. Uh, members of the media have been following closely the agenda. Today, the big meeting will be the alliance of global alliance against hunger and poverty. And we're waiting uh, to have details of one and each of the members of the G20 about their proposals and how they're going to contribute on that effort. Each one of the leaders will have the possibility to give in a speech. Okay, Celia, while you, okay, while, you give a lo while you give a lowdown of what's expected, let me just tell our viewers watching this right now that Prime Minister Modi, those are live visuals coming in of Prime Minister Modi now reaching the summit venue where the G20 summit will start shortly. Those are live visuals that are coming in uh, where... Uh, there is going to be, remember, 19 countries plus European Union and African Union. Together, they are set to shape 85% of humanity. Go ahead, Celia. We'll keep playing those visuals, but go ahead, Celia, make the point that you were making. Yes, that's right. Um, so basically, we're waiting for their finishing the arrivals. And um, so far, uh, we're getting close to it. Uh, Prime Minister Modi arriving, as you <laughs> mentioned, and this area, which is a museum of art, the media are basically in the other side of this area. And uh, the leaders will come up. Uh, we are now expecting after Prime Minister Modi that China President Xi Jinping, as well as uh, the leader of the United States, Joe Biden, arrived. They have not arrived yet. And that will pretty much cover all the uh, leaders who will be present during the session of the alliance um, against the poverty and hunger. As you can see in the images, uh, the president of Brazil is uh, embracing the leader of India last year. Um, it was given uh, the presidency from India to Brazil. And Prime Minister Modi has highlighted the fact that because of India, they were able to give a focus on the global south to work on the uh, issues that are uh, more pressing 
for that region and the world. Um, Molly, of course, um, has been um, supporting and, and it was part of what he wanted to do last year in India. It was to provide the tools to help Brazil to carry out this uh, presidency during the past year that comes to this, which will be a declaration tomorrow. But today will be this big debate in which the leaders will have the possibility to present their proposal. One of the big proposals uh, presented by President Lula has to do with imposing a 2% tax on the riches of the world, about 3,000 people that they will identify. And according to him, that will be able to provide them with the opportunity to help well, around 500 million people in the world. However, this proposal has not been um, supported publicly by countries like the United States. Um, Indeed, we know the Syria, president, like the president. You know, going into this, going into this summit, the sense one gets is that there are two clear themes for Brazil. And the summit highlight is essentially the fact around energy transition for developing countries, mm -hmm. especially because the climate talks have pretty much been completely gridlocked uh, in uh, Baku. And second, the fact that the poverty index that Brazil is really putting its heart and soul in. Isn't that what the sum and substance of this summit could be this time around? Definitely it is. And you have two events that mark that. The first one is the president of the United States for the first time, a sitting president visiting the Amazon and uh, providing a proposal about that. Uh, Secretary General was here talking about climate change and how important it is. And of course, leaders like Modi, um, Xi Jinping and Biden are crucial as biggest countries that are uh, emitting um, the uh, gases that are, uh, according to science, uh, affecting that issue in particular. They are talking about green energies and how they will be able to do that transition. And that is something that they want to put in the document. But the other part, as you mentioned, the poverty and hunger, it is a key um, event, but also the proposals will be uh, fundamental to be able to move forward in the declaration. But it is being pushed back by countries like Argentina on the possibility of imposing 2% taxes on the riches. And that could create an issue on a final declaration. Um, of course, Brazil wants to make sure that everybody's in agreement, um, but yes. it is some uh, discussions on that end. Absolutely. Getting a declaration itself is a big, big uh, political, diplomatic fit. And uh, this summit is taking place at a time when both the wars have really intensified. Whether you take the Russia-Ukraine war or the one in the Middle East, they've both intensified, haven't they? So it's going to be a bit of a task to also get... Uh, you know, some clarity on what is the global positioning going to be on these two wars, isn't it? It is, and, and definitely today we heard from the White House on that subject, especially after President Biden authorized the use of uh, weapons inside Ukraine given by the United States. And this has, of course, uh, pre uh, inside the Russia, pardon. And that has created questions about how the group is going to handle it. Um, knowing that Russia is part of this group, the foreign minister, um, Sergei Lavrov, will be here. And we know that the U.S. is pushed. All right. OK, so uh, before before I get in uh, Celia back, let me just tell our viewers that these these are visuals that came in just a few minutes back when uh, Prime Minister Modi has reached the venue of the G20 summit uh, that is taking place in Brazil at Rio de Janeiro. The backdrop of that summit is essentially how is now the voice of the global south, which is so integral to global discussions now, going to be taken forward in two, three key areas. Climate being one, poverty, inequality being the second aspect, which Brazil has focused on a lot in this year's summit. And the third being the global wars that have actually intensified whether it is in the Russia-Ukraine war or whether it is uh, the one in uh, the Middle East. Uh